Imagine a crocodile so massive that it dominated the ancient rivers of South America, lurking beneath the waters with unmatched power. This was Purosaurus, a prehistoric titan that lived around 8 million years ago during the Miocene epoch. It roamed the swamps and waterways of what is now the Amazon Basin, preying on anything that ventured too close to the water's edge. With its enormous jaws and teeth, Purosaurus was a fearsome predator, capable of taking down large mammals and other formidable creatures of its time. But just how big was this ancient giant? Purosaurus is often considered one of the largest crocodilians to have ever lived, with some estimates suggesting it could reach up to 13 meters in length. Its massive size and powerful build make it a true prehistoric giant. However, there is still some debate among paleontologists about whether Purosaurus was indeed larger than Sarcosuchus Imperator, another giant crocodilian from the Cretaceous period. While both were undoubtedly massive, the exact size comparisons remain uncertain due to the limited fossil evidence available for each species. Purosaurus fossils were first brought to light in the mid-20th century, with discoveries primarily concentrated in several key regions of South America. The most notable fossils have been found in countries like Venezuela, Brazil, Colombia and Peru, areas that were once part of an extensive wetland ecosystem during the Miocene epoch. These regions, particularly the Amazon basin, offer rich paleontological sites that have been crucial in reconstructing the life of this enormous crocodilian. One of the most important fossil sites for Purosaurus is the Urumaco Formation in Venezuela. This area is renowned for its diverse and well-preserved Miocene fauna, providing a detailed snapshot of the ancient ecosystems that once thrived there. In the 1970s and 1980s, paleontologists uncovered several large Purosaurus skulls in this region, including a nearly complete skull that measured over 1.5 meters long. These skulls revealed the creature's formidable size, with teeth and jaw structures indicating a powerful bite, capable of crushing bone and hunting large prey. The Urumaco fossils were some of the first pieces of evidence that suggested just how massive Purosaurus was, placing it among the largest known crocodilians. In the Aca region of Brazil, more Purosaurus remains were discovered, providing further evidence of the crocodile's size and range. This region, once covered by vast swamps and river systems, yielded additional skull fragments, vertebrae and teeth. These findings contributed to the understanding of Purosaurus's physical characteristics, including its broad, flat skull, which was adapted for ambushing prey in the water. The fossil evidence from Acre suggested that Purosaurus was not just a local phenomenon, but a widespread apex predator throughout the Miocene wetlands of South America. These significant paleontological discoveries, including detailed skulls and jaw fragments, have allowed scientists to estimate that Purosaurus could reach lengths of up to 13 meters and weigh as much as five tons or more. To put this in perspective, the largest modern crocodile, the saltwater crocodile, can reach up to 6 meters and weigh up to 1 ton. Purosaurus was at least twice as long and several times heavier, making it a true behemoth of its time. One of the most striking features of Purosaurus was its enormous skull. This skull was not just large, but also very robust and broad, with a wide snout that distinguished it from modern crocodilians. The skull had a distinctive flat and broad shape, suggesting that Purosaurus was a powerful ambush predator capable of delivering crushing bites. Its teeth were large and conical, designed not just for gripping, but also for breaking the bones of large prey. The rear teeth were particularly robust, indicating an ability to exert tremendous force while biting down likely allowing it to tackle a wide range of prey, including large mammals, giant turtles, and even other crocodilians. The dental structure of Purosaurus suggests a highly specialized predator. 
Unlike some modern crocodilians that have a more generalized diet, Purosaurus's teeth were adapted for a diet that included large, bulky prey. The sheer size and shape of its teeth indicate it was capable of handling massive and potentially dangerous animals, acting as the apex predator in its ecosystem. Purosaurus's body was built for power. It had a massive, muscular build with limbs and a tail designed to support its bulk in the water. Its tail was likely broad and strong, providing powerful propulsion through the rivers and swamps it inhabited. When compared to other prehistoric crocodilians, Purosaurus stands out for its sheer size and power. For instance, Sarcosuchus imperator, another giant crocodilian that lived during the Cretaceous period, is estimated to have reached lengths of about 12 meters and weighed up to 4 to 5 tons. While Sarcosuchus was also an enormous predator, some paleontologists believe that Purosaurus was slightly larger, though the exact size comparison remains debated due to the fragmentary nature of the fossil record for both species. Purosaurus was an apex predator, capable of preying on a wide range of animals thanks to its enormous size, powerful jaws and robust teeth. Its diet likely included some of the largest animals of the Miocene Epoch in South America. The Miocene Epoch in South America was home to an array of large mammals, many of which likely fell prey to Purosaurus. Among these were giant rodents, which could weigh over a ton and provided a substantial meal for such a large predator. Other potential prey included toxodonts, large herbivorous mammals that roamed the wetlands. These creatures, resembling a mix of modern-day hippos and rhinos, would have been prime targets for Purosaurus when they ventured near water sources. Despite its size, Purosaurus would not have ignored the abundant fish species in its environment. The rivers and wetlands of the Miocene were teeming with fish, providing a readily available food source. While it likely favored larger prey, Purosaurus would have also preyed on sizable fish species to supplement its diet, especially when larger mammals were less accessible. Purosaurus coexisted with a variety of reptiles, including other smaller crocodilians and giant turtles. Its powerful bite could easily crush the shells of these giant turtles, making them a viable food source. Additionally, Purosaurus may have occasionally engaged in predatory behavior toward other crocodilians, asserting its dominance as the apex predator in its habitat. Given its massive size and physical characteristics, Purosaurus would have employed hunting strategies similar to those of modern crocodiles, but on a much larger scale. Purosaurus likely relied on ambush tactics to catch its prey. Its environment, with dense vegetation and murky waters, provided the perfect cover. It would have used its broad, flat body to stay submerged, lying in wait for unsuspecting animals to approach the water's edge. When a large mammal, such as a giant rodent or a toxodont, came close enough, Purosaurus would have launched a sudden and powerful attack. Its large jaws and sharp teeth allowed it to grab and crush its prey with devastating force. Modern crocodiles use a technique known as the death roll to subdue and dismember large prey. Given its size and power, Purosaurus might have employed a similar strategy. Once it had latched onto its prey, Purosaurus could have used its immense strength to drag the victim into the water, using its weight to drown it if necessary, it might then perform a death roll to tear apart the prey into manageable pieces, especially for larger animals. While Purosaurus was a formidable hunter, it would have also been an opportunistic feeder. It likely scavenged carcasses when available and took advantage of any easy prey in its territory. Its sheer size and dominance meant it could displace other predators from their kills, allowing it to monopolize food resources. But despite being one of the mightiest predators of its age, Purosaurus, like all creatures, eventually faced its end. The extinction of Purosaurus, like that of many prehistoric megafauna, was likely caused by a combination of environmental changes, 
habitat shifts and increased competition. During the Miocene epoch, the world experienced significant climatic shifts. As the Miocene progressed into the Pliocene, around 5.3 million years ago, global climates began to change, becoming cooler and drier. These climatic shifts had profound effects on ecosystems, particularly in tropical regions like South America. Purosaurus thrived in the extensive wetland systems of the Miocene, which provided abundant food and suitable habitat. However, as global temperatures dropped and rainfall patterns shifted, these wetlands began to shrink. Large areas of swamps and floodplains were replaced by more seasonal environments, reducing the suitable habitat for a massive semi-aquatic predator like Purosaurus. The drying and fragmentation of these wetlands would have limited the areas where Purosaurus could hunt, breed and live. The climate changes also led to shifts in vegetation, with rainforests giving way to more open woodlands and savannas. These changes would have affected the entire food chain, including the herbivorous mammals that Purosaurus preyed upon. As environments changed, the balance of power among predators shifted. During the Miocene, South America had a unique and isolated fauna, but the landscape changed as it began to connect with other landmasses. The gradual formation of the Isthmus of Panama toward the end of the Miocene allowed for the Great American Biotic Interchange, where fauna from North and South America began to mix. This led to the introduction of new predatory species into South America, including large carnivorous mammals like saber-toothed cats and bears. These new predators could have outcompeted Purosaurus for prey, especially in increasingly fragmented and less water-dominated environments. In the changing landscape, smaller and more adaptable crocodilian species may have had an advantage. Unlike the giant Purosaurus, these smaller crocodilians could survive in a wider range of habitats, including those with less water and smaller prey. Purosaurus's massive size meant it required a large amount of food to sustain itself. It likely depended on an abundance of large prey animals. As the climate changed and habitats transformed, the availability of such large prey would have decreased. With a reduced food supply and an inability to adapt to smaller prey due to its size and hunting strategies, Purosaurus would have struggled to survive. Large reptiles like Purosaurus would have had slower reproductive rates compared to smaller, more adaptable animals. They likely took many years to reach maturity and had fewer offspring. In a rapidly changing environment, this slow reproductive rate would have made it difficult for Purosaurus populations to recover from declines or to adapt quickly enough to new conditions. During the late Miocene and into the Pliocene, fluctuations in sea levels could have further altered the habitats where Purosaurus lived. Rising sea levels might have inundated coastal wetlands, while falling sea levels could have led to the drying out of inland waterways. Both scenarios would have significantly affected the large freshwater wetland habitats that Purosaurus relied on, contributing to its decline. The extinction of Purosaurus was likely a gradual process rather than a sudden event. As its environment changed and resources became scarcer, populations of Purosaurus would have slowly declined. Reduced habitats and competition with more adaptable species would have led to a gradual decrease in numbers, eventually resulting in the complete extinction of the species. As we close the chapter on Purosaurus, we are left with a creature that was both terrifying and utterly fascinating, a true titan of the ancient waterways. Its sheer size and power make it one of the most formidable predators to have ever existed, ruling the swamps and rivers of a world long past. Though it has been extinct for millions of years, the legacy of Purosaurus lives on, echoing through time as a reminder of the ancient giants that once dominated our planet. In the shadowy depths of our imaginations, Purosaurus remains, 
forever one of the most awe-inspiring crocodilians to have ever roamed the earth. If you found the story of Purosaurus fascinating, then brace yourself for another giant of the ancient world. In my latest video, we dive into the life of the most terrifying bear that ever existed. Discover a predator that ruled the land with the same ferocity that Purosaurus ruled the waters. Click here to watch and explore the untamed power of this incredible beast. Thank you for watching, and I will see you there.